Hi guys, Autumn Beckman here and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Couldn't figure out what to do with my fingers there. I'm gonna be straight up with you. Today's Vlogmas is not gonna be very vloggy. It'll still be fun because the dogs are involved and you guys love the dogs clearly from your messages. I love them too, I understand. But it's been a work day and nothing special. Well, actually, that's not true. I was about to say nothing special has happened. Something special has happened. Paul has returned. You guys didn't know it, but he's been gone for the last few days. He's been out of town. Not for a fun trip, but he's finally back, and Baron in particular is super happy because during the day when I'm at work, Baron hangs out with Paul in his office, and they're guy buddies. So now every morning that I have left, Baron knows that he's going to be alone all day and he starts crying and it's heartbreaking. Now he'll feel better in the morning, so I'm happy about that. I'm also happy Paul's home, you know, whatever. I want to say thank you guys so much, very sincerely, for all of the positive messages you've been leaving. I've been kind of blown away by them. I wasn't expecting that. Like, you guys are always positive. Every once in a while there's a jerk in the conversation, you know, but you guys are always positive and I've come to take that for granted, I think. And during Vlogmas this year, it's like a different level of positive and affirmations and all these things. And I just really, really appreciate it because I've been very stressed the last few months and it feels really good to know that what I'm doing with Vlogmas and all the extra time that that takes is worth it because you guys are enjoying it. Even though it isn't up to my standards yet, that new camera is gonna help. It should be here soon. One of the really great things about doing something like Vlogmas where I'm filming every day is that I'm also editing every day and I'm seeing my mistakes. That's what I focus on because those are things I can improve. And I really need to make a point of doing that more often, like trying to film more every day when I have more time to do it. And writing down, I've been doing this with Vlogmas this year, writing down things I need to improve so that I can remember to work on those Anyway, that's kind of a tangent. A couple things you guys have brought up in your comments that I want to talk about. One, yesterday's vlog was set in Long Beach, Washington, and I mentioned that we had ruled out moving to Seattle, and I didn't tell you why, and a few people, I should have said why, because a few people were wondering, like, what's wrong with Seattle? I live there, or I used to live there, and it's a great place. There's nothing wrong. It's not that we found something wrong with Seattle. That's not why we decided not to go there. It's mostly two things location. The place we really want to be, the dream, is the Oregon coast and Seattle's just too far from there. And the other reason, probably pretty obvious to those who know Seattle, as I've done research on apartments, it is very expensive. What we're looking at is Portland. Though we would love to be on the coast and if I could find some kind of remote job, maybe we could be on the coast. There are a lot of advantages to us for being in a city like Portland. It's close enough to the coast. It's about two hours away. I love restaurants. Paul does too. And Portland has a ton of great restaurants. It's less expensive than Seattle. It is more expensive than Houston. We have learned that we're going to be paying more for less space. Ugh, not looking forward to that. But It'll be worth it for all the benefits that we'll get of being in Oregon. And a uh, little teaser here, later in Vlogmas, you'll see the vlog where we were in Portland and I stayed at a hotel very purposely, very strategically, only two blocks from the Louis Vuitton. And yes, I take you to the Louis Vuitton. We do a little luxury shopping. And also to, is it Nordstrom? Neiman's? I think it was Nordstrom, so you have that to look forward to. Another thing a lot of you have been talking to me about is a few days ago I mentioned diffusers, like essential oil diffusers, and a lot of you have been telling me, warning me, about using those around the animals. That is something, even though I've never used diffusers before, that is something that I have been aware of. I've heard that before. When I bought the oil, I still don't have a diffuser, but when I bought the essential oil, I was not thinking about that. Since then, I have done a little research. I found a list of some of the oils that are toxic to dogs, and I compared that with the ingredient list on this oil, and there doesn't seem to be anything that is on the toxic list. So what I'll do if I get a diffuser to use that here is just keep an eye on the dogs and see how they do. And if they're showing symptoms of irritation or anything else, then I'll stop using it around them. Vincent, I know, of course, don't use that anywhere near her. So I would only keep it here in my office 
with the doors closed. When I'm in here, the doors are closed generally. She is in another room completely way on the other side of the apartment. So, so I would think that would be safe. But of course I would keep an eye on her too. And it's not like I would have it on all the time. It would be probably only weekends when I think about it, which is how I do candles, not very often. I don't think about them, or even if I do, I'm doing all these other things and I never get around to burning a candle. So I'm not worried about it, but I'm conscious of it. So I know to look for it and if it's a problem nix it. And I appreciate all of you are concerned about the dogs and bringing that up to me. Thank you. The other day I showed you, I think it was yesterday, I showed you the Cinnamon organizer that I have in my mini no way and this bag is great because it has this little top handle It's so easy to grab and go and then I have this strap from dress up your purse that I added to it that I can wear it crossbody Well, it is the week of the no way because I want to show you something on my full-size no way now, too These come with this shoulder strap. It's adjustable a little bit, but it's a shoulder strap That's all it's ever gonna be and it's fine It works great for wearing it on your shoulder But sometimes you want to grab it from a chair or the seat of your car and you have to fiddle around grab both sides of the handle to be able to carry it short like that but there's a new item from dress up your purse it's this short strap that's a top handle for the no a and you could use this on the gm size or the petite and there you go I mean, that's perfect why doesn't louis vuitton do this because these are very practical things that we as bag carriers appreciate in the bags so having that little top handle there and when you let go, it sits like that, or it can fold back behind and you can carry the big strap on your shoulder. Anyway, it looks great. I'll put it up front so you can see a little better. It looks great. It adds a lot of practicality to the bag. It's super handy. So there you go. Fabulous. I'm glad to have it. And Melody at Dress Up Your Purse, she's the owner. She sent that to me. So I will have them linked below with my 10% discount code if you'd like to go check out that or anything else they have. Now, since Paul just got back today, we went out for dinner when I got off from work and we went to a place where we can take the dogs. We take the dogs here all the time. It's called Berry Hill and I'll play that footage for you now and then we'll do the advent calendars. Let me say something when I'm talking about improvements in the vlogs. Let me ask you something. If you're someone who has seen many of my vlogs, you may notice that what I often do is show footage and then just play music over it. And I don't have a whole lot of talking and narration and you don't see me in it very often. I think part of that is because I'm a photographer and I'm used to looking at things and showing other people things. So that's how I film too. And it's also that, especially if I want to sit on an image for a minute, I don't know what to say to fill all that space. So it makes sense to me to show you something and then have some music playing. I want to know what you guys think about that. That's definitely going to be happening and the rest of what you see in the Oregon vlogs. That will be the case a lot and at this point there's nothing I can do about it because I can't go back to Oregon to film more footage. But are you guys cool with that? Would you rather have more narration? Would you rather see me on there more, or Paul on there more? Just want to get your opinion and feedback on that if you don't mind sharing. All right, let's take the dogs to dinner. <music>
special guest for advent calendars today. Some of you have been asking, where's Paul's chocolate calendar? Well, here it is. There it is. You didn't think I could leave him out, did you? <laughs> and you see all the doors that he's already opened. So we're on day seven. Do you want to go ahead and enjoy your day seven? Oh yeah. Here we go. And where is it? There it is. It's not going to be pretty. Oop, there it is. By the way, we've got this guy keeping a very close eye over here. Mm -hmm, in the background. Mm -hmm. So, so what'd you get in your Reese's advent calendar? Got a little Reese's cup. Nice. And there's two different flavors, so we'll oh, yeah? see which one it is. Okay. Okay, shall I open it? I suppose you'll have to if we want to see what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the dark one. And this is what I call the, you know, the, the typical Reese. Uh, the other ones are white, some sort of a white chocolate or something. Okay. Look at that boy over there on the periphery. There he is. And he, said, he said, how can you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Jet Set Chocolates, day seven. Let's see if it starts falling over on us again like it did yesterday. Oh, speaking of white chocolate, pull oh, that one out. Oh, that came out easy. Looks like that, like cookie crumbles maybe on top. And it looks like that inside. It's kind of fudgy flavor. It's not my favorite. I don't know if it's supposed to be cookies and cream. Several of you have been telling me about Tony's and how they have this mission about ending child slavery. I can't get the door open. There we go. And how you've gone to their website and looked and you're really impressed with them. I have not done that yet. I guess I should do so. Ooh, this one is milk hazelnut. Yes, please. I love hazelnuts and chocolate or just in general. Yup, that one's delicious. I'm gonna share a dirty little secret with you. After I take the bite out of the chocolate, I put it in this plastic bag and I haven't eaten any more of it. I'm just not a huge chocolate person. Like I like chocolate fine, but I'm not obsessed with it like Paul is. So I told him he can have as much as he wants. Just come in my room and take it out of here. And it's not that I would never eat it. It's just, look, I still have I should show you this sometime. I'm not gonna do it right now. I still have a paper grocery bag full of candy from last Vlogmas, so that gives you an idea. Well, there are no dogs here. I guess I'll just have to eat all of these reindeer treats all by myself. Mm-hmm, thought so. Here's door number seven, Roxy. You ready for it? I thought she would be. There we go. Here comes the pop. She's not scared of that pop anymore. There you go. Are there only two cookies this time? <gasps> there are, there are only two in that door. Baron. My goodness, I almost lost a few fingers there, Roxy. <clears throat> okay, let's put this back more carefully this time. Stay. Roxy, you've disappeared. Here we go. Oh, oh no, what happened? You lost your footing? There's a cookie. Oh, look at you being all polite. Here, good girl. Yep, only two. Here you go, Bear. Thank you. And box number seven for Vincent. Here you go, Vincent. You have a box. Are you excited about it? I know you don't have a place to hold it there, so I'm gonna put it on your shelf. And now you have another box on your shelf. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing? Anything? How about now? You just gonna sit there? Oh, you're so fluffy. 